Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Foley. Yo, we are jumping in again on the deleted streak. We go once more. We've been getting some absolutely crazy runs as the deleted, as is his namesake, pretty much as he always does. The deleted crazy runs are pretty much standard. We played as Maurice last time. Uh, this time we're going to go as the Zip Bomber. Now, I've been told a few different things I want to be doing as Zip Bomber. No corrupted items, use extract to re-roll any item while adding negative effects to it. So, one thing I've been told to do the Zip Bomber is to um, use extract on the shop, but like to do it to all the items and something happens. I also have to be careful because this guy has some weird shenanigans going on with bombs. If I remember correctly, um, and I kept hurting myself. So yeah, I can't do this, but I can use extract to blow those up. So kind of interesting. We kind of have like a um, remote detonator style thing in uh, extract. We can't actually pick up any more bombs than we currently have, which is a kind of weird quirk of this character, really. Um, a weird quirk of this character. But yeah, so apparently if I go into the shop here, so I can use this to blow stuff up. Apparently I want to do this to everything. And something will happen. There you go. <laughs> okay. Shop notice. You have destroyed my shop. This is in violation of Article 202 of the shop conduct. You are a criminal. Do not leave the floor and await your sentence. <laughs> the police are after me. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Well, isn't this just something? Holy hell. This is really cool. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. There's some, there's some stuff going on right now. <laughs> I am currently completely stuck. Oh, no, okay, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> this is uh, not what I was expecting at all. Right. I love the fact that it's taking all the different keeper faces here. We got the... Okay, this, this room has repeated itself again. We're going to have to do some of these rooms over again. We know that now. This is hilarious and beautiful. Ooh, a speed up. I'll just take that as is. I'd like to have some speed. I love the, the little sirens and the switching over screen. So cool. We can get a few champion pickups by farming this floor, essentially. Okay. I can't really get to these guys, so I'm just going to have to bomb them. Item-wise, we got Parasitoid Tears. I think I'll be taking that as is. I'll grab that as well. Pop. Oh, we got the speed down. I just got to speed up. Fuck you. Morbid Heart there helps out a bunch. My goodness, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Was not expecting this at all. Was not expecting this at all. I'm so glad you guys told me to try this out. I definitely see why it gives you this active now. It makes a lot of sense. How the hell would you survive this otherwise? The lag is intense, but it's it's fun. We're getting all the hearts out of it, which is nice. Okay, boss time. Okay, the boss just contains a bunch more of these guys. Actually made the boss kill easier. Lemonhead, um, yes, I'm gonna take that. We'll start corrupting stuff and we start finding items that are worth corrupting. Okay, we can leave the floor now. Now, I don't know if this is gonna, con gonna continue for the rest of the run. Um, 
Okay. Um. What the? F I didn't know that was gonna happen. I liked that run. <laughs> okay. Um. Interesting. I wasn't. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Anyways, back to it, I guess. The police were after us. We made our escape and it unlocked something, which I'm gonna guess is a new form for the deleted, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. Uh, I didn't expect to be getting a new form anytime soon, but happy to have them on the journey. But now we'll play as regular old Zip Bomber um, and see what we want to do. Um, if we want to reroll things, stuff like that. I don't think I want to do that to the shop again, though, do I? Mongo Baby will try and reroll. Nah. Um. Yes, this is really good. We'll take that. We spawn two random monsters. But we can deal. We can deal. Slightly annoying monster, to be honest, but... Actually, very annoying monster. He won't die. There you go. He finally died. But Sulfuric Acid is super good for us. Because this just means we can get into all of our secret rooms, open up all tinted rocks, and we no longer actually need to use those limited bombs that we have. Which is huge for us. And I don't think Sulfuric Acid is luck based either, from what I remember. So, we don't need to worry about getting loads of luck to, to make it, vi like, viable. To be able to get into your secret rooms is fantastic with it. Take care of this fella real quick. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken that trophy, but I don't know. I thought it might do something other than just end the run. Stupid of me to think that, I realise. Now that I think about it, that doesn't make much sense. It was, of course, just going to end the run. Also, this sulfuric acid costume's great. Just basically just holes in our face. Sulfuric acid has melted all the way through. Did I get hurt there? Damn it. Shot speed down is whatever. Careful of him. Ghosts are going to do their thing. Would like to be able to get into that um, book room. The library. Book room, as they call it. Goddamn. Um, that's a good question of the day, actually. Uh, do you read, and if you do, what's your favourite book? That's one I haven't uh, asked before. I'm not big into reading, um, so I don't really have a, a good favourite book. I'm sure people will judge me for my so, um, favourite book. But my favourite book series... I read the um, I read the Maze Runner uh, series. I really enjoyed those. I thought they were very very good. Now I, I'm, I'm sure for some people that's probably pretty light reading or like maybe not the best quality of book. I don't I don't know. Some people people that read or some people that read not everyone but some people that read are really weird about like they have some sort of like thing complex about people that don't read and what pe what books people like and stuff and I always find that a bit odd. Um, right, quickly grab this. Damn it. Um, spiritual reserves. Nice. And I guess we'll take that. Doesn't really make much of a difference to us. Sadly, we don't have a way of getting in there. Uh, I was hoping we'd get a key from somewhere around here, but alas, we did not. We can't just burn through the door, can we? Sadly, that is not the case. Right, next floor. We lost out on a little bit there, but it is what it is. We carry on going. <laughs> yeah, I um, I actually watched so the Ma Maze Runner um, films got turned into uh, uh, books, got turned into films. Of course, they got turned into movies. And I watched the movies, and I really enjoyed them. And obviously, as happens every single time uh, a book gets adapted into a film, everyone's like, eh, "It's not as good as the book. It's not as good as the book." And it's just like, "Oh, shut up!" Of course, it's not as good as the book. They told the story of a book that takes three days to read. In, into a film that's an hour and a half. It's of course not going to be as good, you idiot. I always hate that. Uh, but anyways, um, I watched it and I really enjoyed it and I saw all the people saying about how much better the book was. So I was like, okay, I'll read the books then and, and, and find out. And I, I have to agree, the books are a lot better. But like I said, they're of course going to be a lot better. Um, and uh, 
But I think the fact that I read, I watched the films, then read the books, it allows me to experience them both very differently. Like, everyone that read the books first will only ever see the film as an inferior version of the story from the book, whereas myself, I kind of see it as the... The film is a different interpretation and a different retelling of the story. Um, with less detail, yes, but it's like a completely separate thing. And so I can enjoy them both um, as their own products and not have to think about, oh, one's better than the other, which I'm very glad about. Um, like I said, it's very annoying when people are banging on about how much work. It's like, dude, of course, of course, the film is always going to be worse than the book. That's obvious to anyone. You don't have to make, you don't have to point that out. Right. Trying to find our secret rooms and stuff here. We're doing good on money so far. We're really not doing good on keys is the big problem right now. Keys we're really lacking on. We're going to try and find a way to get some. Um, we've got a clear room there. We need keys to get to any of that. Lovely. Yeah, slightly frustrating that just the complete absence of any key drops. Really don't know where secret rooms are this time around. Potentially here? No. Potentially here? No. Here? There you go. Straight in. Take that. Kaboom. Didn't get anything for that. Oh, I should, I should really destroy the mushrooms at least, shouldn't I? Oh, this teal guy. He's he's the worst. Oh, no. This is... That that was pretty terrible, that. He was in a really bad spot for us there. The one of our little ghosts died, but he does give us a half soul heart. Next one's died. That's lovely, that. Get a little bit back for them dying. Right. Let me destroy these mushrooms real quick. See if we get any good pills or whatnot. Gotta try them out. Second secret room we're not really as sure on. But yeah, I think there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of parts, of it, especially in the first book, uh the first and second really, that uh that I read that, that like just wouldn't even work for cinema. Wouldn't even work for film. Like, there's this one part of the story where um will you throw that pot on me. And uh, there's this one part of the story where what's this? Overhealing charges a special. Ah, uh, we don't really care about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble on this to even buy a key. We can, good. Um, and then we can do this. And then we can also reroll for another. Blue map is insanely good for us here. Ooh, the shattered dice. Item pedestals reroll when you touch them. Rerolled items will attempt to be of a higher quality than the original item. Nice. We like that a lot. We've had that before. It's very, very strong. Um, right. It's just one of those items that, that you just kind of want to hold, you don't want to use. But yeah, any item we pick up won't be the item, which does does make a, a extract a little worse, I will admit. It does make it makes extract not quite as good as it otherwise would be. But we can like pop extract once and see what we get, and then like try and get like a high quality item. Okay. Apparently you can only extract on them once. Whoopsie. Didn't know you could. Or maybe it's just like a random chance to explode, I don't know. But that guy exploded. All I know is, that guy definitely exploded. That was a really good bomb there. That is a lot of enemies. Okay, you're running around with your little tail out, your little honey, your honey trail. Okay, we're good, we're good. You gave me a golden heart as well, very nice. So, one thing I'm confused about. So, I've got, I, I have to try the. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. I lose the dice thing. Damage tiers, the damage up granted is multiplied for each shot fired in a room. I don't really know how that works.
That's pretty interesting. Okay, we blew it up eventually. I'll take that one. Oh, but it changed into a different thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> so let me try this. Okay, I didn't even lose the dice. Okay. Okay. I was like, will I lose the dice? We got Flyboy. Flyboy is really glitchy. It causes a lot of lag. We might have to remove it later down the line. But for right now, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, basically everything is completely up in the air for us. So essentially, we've got this kind of strange thing going on here where... The method we want to play this, like the way that we want to play this out, is we want to re-roll an item to the highest possible quality we can get it to, and then we want to pick it up, and it'll have no negative effects, and it'll be a, a regular item. Is how I think this is going to work. Now, don't hold me to that, but yeah, we want to re-roll items into the highest possible quality, and then pick them up. And they'll get re-rolled by our active into something of a higher quality. Thus giving us the ability to generate pretty high quality items on the regular. It's piggies. Hey, piggies. I love their little meows. It's cute. Right. Soul heart there is quite nice. So, technically, can I push this into you and then go boom? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. Kind of useful. These herming shots are a little scary, I'll admit. The hive mind boy. I'll admit, I do not want you guys alive long enough to shoot your tails at me. Okay. Good to go. Let's crack these real quick. Still don't know where this little symbol's coming from, but it appears every now and again. Goddamn flyboy. Why are you so glitchy? Why are you cause so many issues? Why can't you just be normal? Like you can see in rooms like this, it's just so the frame rate just dies. Flyboy just creates so many issues. Bye, Flyboy. The frame rate instantly went up by 15 upon removing that item. <laughs> right, so. Quality 2. Let's try and get to a quality 3, shall we? Okay, we did get a quality 3, but it blew up. <laughs> we got to be careful about this. It is, it is a risky strategy. Sometimes we're going to lose out on items. <laughs> Unless it's an item I really want, I really don't care. And even if it is an item I really want, it doesn't matter because I won't get it. We keep forgetting that. Maybe I should be taking anything that's quality 2. Just, just reroll quality 1s and lower. Let's try and make myself cry by getting magic mush from one of these mushrooms that I can't currently reach. Excuse me, how did that not hit? Didn't happen. No crying today. No crying today. No woman, no cry. Really? I mean, it's been all my keys? <laughs> we got Clutch's Curse if we want it. How does this work if I use Extracts to blow these up? I'll just take this and it'll turn into Cloak Baby. Hey. I'm so not used to Extract blowing up everything. I always get hurt by it. Sackhead. Yes, please. We got the ballot. Which 
in my opinion, is not even nearly quality 4, but for some reason the developers made it quality 4. The ability to choose your boss is nice, but it's it's honestly not that good. <laughs> I would say that it is quality 2 at best, probably quality 1 in my opinion. Because, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 like, being able to pick your boss for the most part isn't that useful. It's nice, it's good to have. And it's definitely a really, really cool item. Definitely not quality 4. But we have it now. Big battery. Oh god. This room spells trouble, I think. Yep. Too much creep for me to deal with. Definitely some more HP in the mix relatively soon, but we'll see if we end up getting it. Golden bombs are certainly nice, but we can't have golden bombs, can we? Oh. Uh. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> ah, goddamn. What? Why can't I understand that if you stand near an explosion, it will hurt you for one full heart of damage? I either forget the blast radius, or I forget that I'm stood near it, or I forget that it deals one heart of damage. And in that circumstance, I literally forgot all of those things. I'm like blowing it up and I was like, oh, what's going to happen if I blow up the gold one? I was like, oh, maybe it'll do a Mama Mega explosion or something. No, no, no. It'll just kill me because I got too close to it because the explosion radius is quite large. It's me being uh, the dumbest motherfucker you've ever seen. Zip Bomber ain't my lad. He just ain't. I don't play well as Zip Bomber. Can this little shyster stop wiggling around? Dude, dude could you not bugger off all over the screen while I'm trying to do things, please. I don't care about you either. You planted a fire right in front of my face. Um. Blue flies explode into poison gas. Um. Oh, shit. I was not expecting it to be a boss that I couldn't skip. I knew it'd be a boss, also a cool champion. Um, didn't think it'd be a boss I couldn't skip. Thank god the other one is leaving us alone. Okay, we got him, we got him. A little bit tricky, but we got this thing. So, basically we can gain flies from... Um, Picking up red hearts, but also having flies allows them to explode into gas clouds. Intriguing idea. Intriguing idea. The music on this floor always reminds me of like the arcade style music. It sounds very arcadey. I do think with the the soundtrack on this mod, there's some flaws that the music doesn't quite fit as well as the base game music would have done, but. Nonetheless, the music bangs. Is this the room? Yeah, you can just slide right through those poops. Slide right through the between of them. Right in the gap there. Can't really remember what you guys do. They're cool enemies, but I don't know you. Thank you for the key. We've been lacking on those, so the more the merrier. Even more for me. Beautiful. Right, let's try and not die now. Yeah, that'll do. Just two bombs to to get the get the juices flowing. Could you like calm down, sir, so I can hit you? Thank you. Okay, nice. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll definitely take that. Just a flat bit of uh, damage multiplication. For a boss item, that's very strong. But I will certainly take. So, 
Technically, I could hurt myself here, then pick up that red heart to get some blue flies, but I don't really need to do that, and I'd lose my devil deal, I think, so... Probably not the best idea. We want, we want to get a rotten heart. That's, that's, that's what would really be very, very good for us. Free lemonade is definitely something we're looking to re-roll. And we get Photon. Um, let's give it a go. That sounds insane. So yeah, it just gives us an insane amount of shot speed and damage for that shot speed. Seems pretty good to me. This with high fire rate would be kind of insane. Kill the little fella. The little fella looks a bit different. I've been skill issued many a time here. I think Zip Bomber's just not the one for me. Just not the one. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> a slightly shorter episode than I'd usually upload, but I'm dying too much today. I need I need to call it while I'm ahead. Well, I, not even ahead. Also, why does the haunt look like a sperm in the skill issue menu? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.